First of all, what is responsible business and why is it important? Responsible business is when a business organization commits to behaving both ethical by its society's standards and improving the economy of the country which is operating in. All the while preserving, benefiting and ultimately improving the conditions of the environment and people around it. Whether they are internal, example employees and their families, or external, residents of the country, customers, etc. Now, responsible business can be condensed into something called the triple bottom line, characterized by the three P's, profit, people and planet. In other words, economic responsibility, social responsibility and environmental responsibility. Ensuring that the requirements of the triple bottom line are followed and that responsible business is conducted not only leads to a better society for the business to operate in, but also may give the business a good name for being socially responsible and therefore free promotion. If business did not conduct business responsibly, the environment and society would spiral into chaos as the sole motive of business would be profit and completely ignoring other stakeholders and apps effects of business activity. The case of the beers falls under the ethics of consumption, and more especially false advertising. This detail that advertisements for a product should follow some clear rules. Firstly, they have to be truthful. Ads should never intend to trick or deceive viewers, readers, into thinking the product is something else, that is better than it actually is that it does more things than it actually does, or that the source ingredients are different. False advertising, example ads that are more, almost completely lying, falls inside the scope of this deceit, and is partially what the Bears did with the advertising campaign from the late 1940s to the late 90s. They also detail that in order to be ethical, an advertisement must not twist the truth about its product or service by implying things that are untrue or holding back information to make the advertising product service look better. Advertisement should also refrain more targeting especially vulnerable groups such as children and should not be made to appeal to the lower inclination of people such as pride, vanity or lust, which the beer specially targeted in their diamond ring campaign as you can see here. This is called psychological appeal and is one of the most concerning and debated topics in the ethics of consumption when discussing advertising. The Bears is a world-renowned company and one of the biggest players, if not the biggest, in the diamond exploration, diamond mining, diamond retail and diamond trading and industrial diamond manufacturing, sectors of the diamond industry. The company operates in 28 countries and mines in Botswana, Namibia, South Africa and Canada. The Bears currently sells approximately 35% of the world's rough diamond production under another name, the Diamond Trading Company or DTC, and generates 17.1 billion of revenue 2014. The De Bear Group was founded by British diamond investor and businessman Cecil Rhodes. Ernest Uffenheim a member of the De Beers board of directors worked with Rhodes to build the company's reputation and spread its influence all across the globe from his election into the board in 1926 up to his death in 1957. He built a consolidated company, Global Monopoly, over the diamond industry until his death in 1957. He was, however, a man known for many controversies in, in his time, including price fixing, antitrust behavior, and an allegation of not releasing industrial diamond for the U.S. war effort. Now for detail of the irresponsible business practice by the chosen organization, why is it considered irresponsible business? Essentially, the bears triggered consumers into thinking diamonds were a rarity, when in fact 
they were not. The advertisement the bears used were not only untrue in portraying the value of the gemstones, but also drastically increased their market value in order to bring the bears more profit. The ads appealed to consumers, values and ideas of love, romance, and what was worth their partner. Here is an example. Before this strategy came into effect, engagement rings rarely contained diamonds and were simply rings. As you can see from the video, it is clear that the bears are showcasing their diamonds as objects of high value, rarity and quality. While in fact diamonds were very playfully in their minds. And I had that campaign not to be successful and the truth had to be discovered earlier. Diamonds would now be semi-precious stones not used for anything much other than some jewelry. Now for stakeholders. Investors, consumers, collectors, retailers and government, both European and African. The investors of the beers were primarily the ones at fault here. When the investors in South Africa discovered massive diamond deposits in Africa, they feared for their profits. This fear eventually led to the creation of the Beers Group, which monopolized the industry and led to what we have now. Consumers, collectors and retailers were also severely affected by the Beers campaign, both negatively and positively. On one hand, diamonds value shot up with the ad campaign meaning that clients could sell them for extremely high prices and always expect the same value more or less, making them an economic anchor. On the other hand, collectors and those who were less interested in selling were affected negatively as diamond prices were very high despite the fact that they weren't actually very rare. Governments are also an important stakeholder as they were the ones who effectively allowed or denied advertising back then. And the fact that the bears misleading ads were allowed to air on television and be put around cities was the government's fault and should be regulated. For the immediate impact, massive increase in the bears' profits, controlled by the bears over the diamond industry by using different fake names around Europe and Africa, creating the illusions of diamond scarcity. Long-term impacts, normalization of diamond engagement rings, permanent increase in the value of diamond despite them not being as rare as portrayed. Our recommendation. Government should regulate advertisement and background check them to make sure they are not deceitful, adhere to the country's culture and overall ethical. Workers and executives that are aware of a company's misleading or false advertisement should speak out instead of being bought out by bribes. This is called whistleblowing. People should be made aware of the case of diamonds truly availability. And while this will not change the fact that people will still buy diamond rings, it will expose the truth about them. Now for our conclusion. A company should always be loyal to its customers and never attempt to lie or implicitly lie to them in any way. Every manager of a company or business that has the idea of playing a trick on their customers or keeping something from them should keep the story of the bears in their head. So next time you want to buy a diamond ring for your lover, ask yourself, is it really worth it? Thank you for watching.